All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, I am going to overlay uh, some footage here, and that is going to be me building what you are going to see in front of you in a second. So unfortunately, what happened was I was recording a different game. I was doing something different earlier in the day, and I had muted the microphone on OBS. So what ended up happening, what I just realized now was that I recorded all of this footage yesterday and didn't have any of the microphone actually recording my voice. <laughs> so I'll overlay for the next minute here whenever I was just talking um, some of the building process and what I was doing and uh, how we ended up to this point right here. So this is where we are. This is the building that I have created, which is uh, kind of a rough concept right now. It's not finished by any means whatsoever. And we're going to be working on this today. Um, I spent about maybe two hours or so yesterday working on it, so not that long. Um, and we're going to go ahead and clean this up together and finish this thing. So I'll give you a tour of what we did. So first things first, we have this little extension off of the side here. Um, it's just for looks. It doesn't really have a purpose or anything like that. And then we have this main building on the inside. And what this building is actually for is this is going to be the donator building. So uh, obviously anyone that donates to the channel, uh, we're going to have lots of lecterns in here and all of your guys' names will be on the lecterns. So uh, this is the building we have. I think it's going to be two floors um, and we're going to finish the whole thing today. So the whole thing's going to get done. Um, and I just wanted to explain shortly what happened. Unfortunately, I was not aware that my microphone was not recording at the time. So um, I guess we can go ahead and continue working. So what I did on the outside here, as you can see, is um, I thought this was a really cool design to have some sort of a Ferris wheel here. And then what I also want to do is kind of um, make some sort of like banner things hanging down towards here. I think it would just look cool if we did that. So um I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this, but I think if we just kind of like make some posts here. So I think something like this, maybe like three tall. Oops, that was an accidental place. My mouse has been kind of doing that lately. Not sure why. Um, I think I want to offset it a little bit too. I think that would be cool. So I'm going to go like this. So three high for that. And then uh, probably something along the lines of that. How tall was that? That was three, right? So I'm going to strip those as well. And we'll get up here for this one. And uh, essentially what I'm going to do is grab some like red and white carpets and kind of just drape them from that window down towards here and make it look like, I don't know, some sort of uh, festival flags or something like that. I feel like that could be really cool. So um that should be pretty straightforward, I think. So uh, we'll get to doing that. And then uh, I wanted to kind of decorate this thing a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do for the Ferris wheel, um, <laughs> ignore this little thing down here, right? This is not exactly the best looking uh, base for the Ferris wheel in the world. So we'll redesign that. I just needed that like a uh, reference to put this thing on. And we'll have to figure out a way to make some sort of like... Uh, platforms that they could sit on so uh i'm gonna have to come up with an idea for that i thought about boats but unfortunately boats do not fit in the gap between a fence so we can't use that um but yeah we'll see how that ends up turning out i think it's gonna look really cool and uh i say right now though let's kind of finish the building i want to rework something on the roof real quick and uh we'll go from there all right, so there's a very strange way this happened last night, but I had a dream <laughs> after I had built this and I saw what I needed to do here in the dream. So we are going to completely rework this whole thing that happened here. And so what we'll have to do is return it to its original form and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to um, completely... Where did that block go? Oh, they've all gone inside. I'm going to completely rework this whole thing in here this middle block right here so we can climb up there with our water and this is what i envisioned in my dream so we're going to tear out these right here because we don't need those anymore and this i believe went like this it was too tall and then one out and then i think i did windows like this that's how you know you're getting obsessed with Minecraft is when you start having <laughs> dreams about what you're going to build next. So this went like this. 
and this here connected so you can kind of see where this is going now so this all connected to the roof right so we can connect that and then i think what i did was i had this block here and this maybe went like this maybe is that let, let's let's hop down let's take a look from a distance here let's see if that yeah that was definitely more like it that's more like what i visualized not that so that makes it much more present of uh, a roof being up there and then what we can do is rearrange those trap doors and put them underneath that and that's going to help make that stand out a lot more you know, now that I'm standing here, I don't know if I actually like these trap doors right here. I feel like they kind of look like, uh, like I, this looks like a face to me and I can't unsee it now. And this is like a weird kind of like eyebrow thing. So I am going to get rid of it because that is driving me crazy. And I think I'm going to go with the less is more approach here and kind of just not have anything up there. All right, so I've noticed a fundamental issue with this building, which is something like this right here. Look at how uniform this looks. Like, everything is just the same here. I do not want that. So what I'm going to do is actually kind of sink everything down a few blocks by going like this. And uh, we'll transition down to these blocks right here like I had. So do that and then take the andesite. And bam, there you go. So now it's not as uniform anymore. And, uh, you know, we want to get rid of a lot of stuff that's like this right here, especially. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I've got diorite on me. And just kind of where it's really like linear like this is I just want to kind of break that up and transition it. And have the building be a little bit more white. I think I did too much gray at the bottom with the andesite and the tuff. So... Uh, I just want to kind of extend that downwards a little bit so it's not all the same, especially in spots for like right here. This is a great example of where it's too much. So we can take that wool and just kind of move everything down a few blocks so that it's not all the same and we get a little bit more variation. Okay, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for the windows yet. I feel like black stained glass could be good. Uh, but I think for the border, what I'm going to do is uh, you can see I'm holding the polished diorite stairs. And I'm just going to make a few of them because I feel like this could be a cool border. And then we do something like that. I feel like that's probably the best way to go about it. I actually, I really like that. So I think I'm going to stick with that. So we'll do that all the way around. And that's going to kind of make, even though we have that dark foundation on the bottom there, you can see with the tough bricks and the tough and the andesite, that polished diorite really brings the white into the bottom. But the black stained glass is a really nice contrast to that. So I think we could carry that all the way around. And then I have one last final texturing detail that I want to do, which I think is going to be really cool. So uh, let's make a bunch of black stained glass. I do believe I have lots of black dye. Yes, I do. So we can get to that and uh, we'll fill in all of those windows and I'll get myself organized here so everything isn't such a mess. Okay, so you can see how I've done the windows. I've just... Wherever there's a gap like this, I am just placing uh, the one stair facing like that, the polished diorite stair, and then upside down like that. So very easy. It just kind of creates that inward transition towards the window. And then we can use the stained glass like a so, and that will um, fill it up quite nicely. So that, uh, I think, looks really nice. And we have some great texturing with that building right there, but there is a few spots i want to make it look like really weathered and i'll show you guys how i'm going to do that but first i want to finish filling in these windows which shouldn't take too long so i will meet up with you guys in a bit so check this out i thought this was a pretty cool window design here you can see i've made like a window frame with some iron bars in the middle there and it kind of like I don't know, connects that in a way. And I thought there was probably some other stuff we could do. Like if we, I don't think these will alternate or um, excuse me, I don't think they will connect. So we can actually like do something where they 
kind of roll down the center like that. So I don't know if I have enough. I think I have like literally just enough to do this. Um, but I think it would be a cool look to kind of have like the alternating lines in there. And uh, we can make something cool that looks like that. So I think that's like a interesting little window frame. I think I need to blend it into the build a little bit better, but I have an idea on how to do that. I think if we just take some of these and just kind of put them underneath like that, that'll like accentuate that a little more and it won't look as um, out of place. So I'm quite happy with that. I feel like that that's pretty good. All right, I've got my glass. I am ready to go. And uh, I just realized this might be a little difficult because this thing uh, does not have a center point. So by that, I mean it is uh, too wide in the middle. So I think we're going to have to get creative here. And what I think I might do is um, no windows on the side and only windows front facing. So I'm going to clear all of these blocks out because this is where this thing is going to be. So I'm going to place four here for now so it's something like that and uh maybe we'll go up like this and kind of have this down over here actually i don't think it'll look that bad if we do it so I'll, I'll just do something like this right something very small uh up here kind of you know something like that and then uh, I'm going to get these windows in here and have these kind of fill in up here. And then this, I think I'm honestly just going to like place them like this here. I don't, I don't see any other reason to do anything different. I feel like this is fine. So kind of go like that. And hopefully that goes for the, I just did that twice, didn't I? There we go. Oh my goodness, I, Why? what is with me and falling today? I thought I'd already, you know what, let's just do it so I don't make the same mistake again. Is that one open as well? It is. I think that's actually okay if we just do that. I'd like for it, uh, that's probably a good height. So what did I do, three and four? Okay, so that's in on that one right there. All right, so I went three high and then four, and then the one. And I feel like that's going to look pretty good from down low. I don't want to put any trap doors on the side of it or anything like that. Um, I feel like it's just better off without it. So now we have something like that. So uh, it's starting to look very modern, very beach-like. Um, not really modern, but more like in a classic way, if that makes sense. So... I have been very lucky to grow up near some very, very wealthy areas. So I have seen uh, some very expensive houses and very expensive beachside properties. And uh, this really reminds me of some of the stuff that's by my house. I think it looks really cool. So um, I want to just add another one in here, but a very small one. So this one is just going to be very tiny. This is going to be like uh, just like this here with this and then I'm just going to take slabs and just make uh, something that's like uh, a little like that. I feel like that's uh, pretty decent in there. You know, a nice little way to kind of break up that roof and just add some more depth. All right, so I would love to add some sort of a uh, pipe on the outside of this building. I feel like that would just look really cool. So I'm I've got levers and I've got lightning rods here. And so we're going to do that old trick that is uh, if I can get up there, it's a little high up. So um, I'm going to place the lever and turn it on and then place the lightning rod on the lever and kind of just have them go all the way down like this and connect it to the ground like so. And now we have uh, a nice little pipe on the outside of the building. I feel like that looks quite nice. So we'll make another one on the other side so that it can be uh, seen from the water. So I feel like this is a good spot for it. Kind of make it look a little bit random. And so maybe like right there is a good place to put it. And we can just, if we can hop up there, it's a little difficult to do. There we go. And so we can connect that all the way at the bottom. So uh, we have a nice little thing there. Those actually swapped somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. So like that is what I wanted. There we go. So. 
Uh, I kind of just like having little bits like that off on the side of the building. It kind of makes it look a little bit better. Of course, we got to add some leaves as well. I'm not the biggest fan of how these are very brown. I think what I'm going to do is actually uh, not use these. Um, I've realized. There we go. Um, and I'm going to go get some birch leaves. Uh, I'm actually quite low on birch leaves now that I see. So we can get that color because uh, that's going to look much better. Oh my goodness, would you have a look? It has finally, it took, I don't know how long it took, well over a month, I think, right? April 10th, what's now, it's now almost June. Finally, after all this time, this statue has completely oxidized. That took forever. So there you go. That was my original plan. That's what I wanted that thing to look like. And now it has finally been finished. That is incredible that it took that long. I thought it would take much faster than that. Anyways, I've got what we needed, which is the birch leaves here. So let's kind of just start placing these at random. This always is going to liven up the build. And you can see why I chose them. They are much uh, darker green than the other colors. So uh, that is kind of one of the big reasons why I went for this block. I don't know why I decided to build in a savanna biome <laughs> because of, you know, the green that it uh, provides for us, but I like this color much, much more. So we'll just kind of place these all around this place and that's really going to liven up um, the natural look of the area. Definitely don't want to put one there. All right. So I think I'm going to add some leaves right here. So let's get it started with a few like that. And then we want to connect these like this here. And uh, I've only got 15 more. I really did not grab enough. But I think I'm going to kind of like get them over like this. Right? Kind of just busy up the roof a little bit. And then we'll have it stop like right here or something. Just kind of, you know, something a little light. Nothing too crazy or anything. So, yeah, I like the way that looks. That, that looks very... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it gives off that vibe to me of somewhere that's been by the water before. I really like that. Now I want to get this Ferris wheel finished because, um, the colors in this Ferris wheel are going to make this look a lot better. So, uh, that is going to be my next thing. And then I want to connect these and see if I like it. So, uh, we can go back to originally what I was trying to explain there, which was having this, uh... So what I meant originally with this was that I was going to have these kind of support things that connected to the building over here, almost like some sort of a rope. So I am going to kind of like see if I can mimic that. I had pictured that kind of looking like some sort of rope and we could dangle some things off of that and like hang some stuff from the rope there. So. I want to do that for both sides because I think it looks uh, pretty interesting. Adds a lot of detail to the build. All right, so I can show you what I had originally pictured, which was just having like red and white alternating carpets on here just to kind of add some color to this whole thing. So I don't know how it's going to look like all together and if it's exactly what I was going for, but I feel like it's just a cool little detail that we can add. And, you know, it's something to kind of make this look a little bit more colorful. So uh, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to trust my intuition here that this is going to look nice. And we'll just go with it. And uh, hopefully it ends up looking pretty cool. So it kind of just, you know, gives some color to the whole thing going on here and makes it look a little interesting. So let's uh, step back and take a look at that. You can't really see it, if I'm being honest with you, but I like that hanging from there. I think it's cool, and what I want to do is go in with these lanterns and hang the lanterns from the bottom, and, you know, maybe in the future we could turn this into some sort of patio or something, but we can get these guys and just kind of hang them in here like this, and so this would be like a nice little outdoor area or something for people to kind of hang out at. So, um... I'm going to leave it blank for now. Not going to do anything with it, but I think that is about where uh, we'll stay with that build. So now I do want to finish this. I don't know what I'm going to do for the actual seats of this thing. So, all right. So here is how I'm going to do this. Obviously, um, there really is no way to make a functioning Ferris wheel in Minecraft. So 
I'm just going to go and uh, like take out some of these blocks and basically alternate every other point. I don't know if these actually connect. Okay, they do connect, but I'm just going to picture like this is where, you know, the people would sit, I guess, <laughs> for the actual um, Ferris wheel itself. So uh, I just want to replicate it on both sides here. So again, I'm just kind of going in and alternating this here. So how did I do that? I went, I skipped one. So, and I was going to do that at least once. So now you can see the kind of shape that we've got going on. Uh, I think that passes as a Ferris wheel. Does that look like a Ferris wheel to you guys? I feel like that looks like a Ferris wheel to me. I wouldn't really know what else that would be. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go okay with that one. I'm going to say that that is a Ferris wheel to me. All right. So another little detail I'm going to add here is I've got a lot of these red and white carpets, so I'm just going to alternate them across like this. And that should give a lot of color to this build and make it just look a little bit more alive. And that's really what I'm going for here is you want it to look alive, right? We don't want it to be boring and all made of the same color so i think this is the best way to accomplish doing that so we got something that looks a little bit like that which i think is pretty cool all right let's go over here and do this the way i intended so i just want to make this look a little bit more detailed so i'm going to use some trap doors to cover up that right there and i will get the axe out and strip all of this uh, i think i might leave the ones in the middle that color um, and then we can go in and do that. So it's all covered and that looks like some sort of framework. And then this is what I meant by adding the stairs in there. So it looks a little different, right? Something a little more uniform. Maybe we can get some fences in on the side here. Just make it look busy, right? It doesn't actually have to be anything super functional. And then I want to add some of this stuff in here. I feel like this is a nice metal looking block. And so we can just add that in there. And now that foundation looks a little better. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is add some scaffolding maybe in the back. Like maybe like this is how they get up into the thing. So maybe something like that. And that is our little Ferris wheel right there. I, I don't know if I love it. <laughs> I think it's okay. It, it's a small one. It's not anything crazy. Um... And I think I could make a bigger and better one in the future, but that's a nice little Ferris wheel to me, I think. I, I think I'm being a little hard on myself there. I think it looks actually pretty cool. All right, and I think somewhere over here is where I want to have the second floor. So I don't know what I'm going to use that room for, um, but I would like to have a second floor that goes all the way up there. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of add a staircase in here. But I think something like that is what I'm going for. You can see this overhang here. And then I wanted to take this fence and we can just take this fence and line it across right there like that. So now we have this whole upper section up here. Again, I don't know what it's going to be used for, but we do have options to use it for something if we want to. Um, I would like to make this window accessible. So I don't know, maybe I could make something like that. And so you can stand in look at this window and see all the different sight lines there so that option is there if you want it all right so we can just hop in here and we can start placing these so uh just like that is what i was imagining so uh we'll just put the first one we have which is uh volume one we'll just put it right there and so you can walk up here and all the donations uh these books will be like 50 pages long i'm assuming as this series goes on and we'll just make a new book once we run out of space and put it in there and so everybody's name will be in here and then i wanted to add the comment of the day uh up here maybe we can put it like right in this window up here all right today's comment of the day comes from at underscore melon and i had to shorten it up a little bit but if you want to read the full comment it's on my uh, most recent video the castle windows and trends video and he said i appreciate you tackling these problems with the community head-on without being rude or hateful in any way we need more people like you in the community a reminder to not worry too much about the numbers and to just enjoy the game we all love and he was kind of mentioning like as a creator um you know what that's like especially um and you know nowadays why i kind of run my channel the way i do and that's just because you know as I went over in that video, if you haven't seen it, 
I just enjoy playing Minecraft. I'm not here to capitalize off of any trends or anything like that, or um, I don't really have any main goal other than making YouTube my job, right? And so I'm just doing this in a way that is fun for me and is genuine for other people to watch. And I think that's the biggest thing as a creator, right? Um, and why I discussed in that video of why following trends isn't a good idea is because when you do that, um, a lot of the times it ends up not becoming genuine and it just becomes like uh, you start modeling your videos off of other people and um, you know, you, you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? You just start creating videos copying other people's style and that takes the whole you out of YouTube as someone else had mentioned in the comments. And so that's what that video was talking about was, you know, being sure that you keep the you in YouTube and trying to be yourself. And that's what's really going to help you stand out from others. And so that's why I felt very passionate about that topic. And why I really like that comment is because, um, you know, I'm glad that I can inspire other people. Uh, but most importantly, um, the one thing I want people to take away from my channel is that I'm just myself on my channel, right? I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm comfortable um, with myself in my videos. And if you want to be a creator, that's the one thing I should absolutely emphasize the most and say you prioritize is learn how to be yourself in front of a camera and so um yeah that's the definitely why that comment meant a lot to me but i hope you guys enjoyed today's build i was really happy with how this turned out i think it looks pretty cool thank you guys for all the new subscribers as discussed we are going to do a world download at 5,000 subscribers so we are almost there so if you aren't subscribed please be sure to join help us reach that number Again, thank you to any future donators who do decide to donate after this video. I will make sure that you get mentioned in the next one. All the info for that is in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.